How are you, sir? Michael Brown. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Kevin right. Sandalwood. Nice to meet you. Have a seat, please. Uh, I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. Uh, you see, uh, I'm a man of spiritual compliance myself. This is why I got you here. Uh, Kevin, I understand you are the number one demonologist in Texas. Well, actually, my partner here is the demonologist, but I'm probably more known for being a spiritual container of sorts. Right. Um, he'll pretty much be there to explain what's going on while I'm holding the demon inside of me. Or yeah. the spirit of any, of any kind. Right. Also, we have a device that can tell us any kind of spiritual demons, anything. Whatever you believe in, we can capture it. And they can tell us if anything is around us, near us, at all. That's great. So we have pretty much everything. You just have to give us the story. Well, I'm not going to take up a lot of the, your time. Because the truth is, I don't really know what's going on. But I can tell you what, I, what, what happened in this house. Uh, about 40 years ago, there was a family... A man, he uh, played trumpet. Uh, he was uh, one of the best uh, trumpet players in Dallas. Great. His name was uh, uh, Steve Steve Burchand. He was he was brilliant. His wife was about to have a baby, and a hurricane came through, messed up everything, tore the house down, killed her and the child both. She was still in the she was the the child was still in the womb. He he lived uh he lived to the ripe old age of seventy and he donated this house uh, to our church. It, it uh it's been in, in the uh, in the church for at least fifteen years and since then there's just been a lot of uh, eerie uh, suspicious things going on and I don't I don't know how exactly to explain it but. It's just the feelings. I get the feelings. People say they see things. I haven't seen anything, but I've got, I've, I've heard things and I've felt things. And uh, I gotta tell you, it didn't feel like it was coming from, you know, upstairs. It felt like it was coming from somewhere else. That's why I got you guys here. And D Dave, I just, I hope you know what to do because, truth is, <coughs> uh, people say that uh, they've seen this woman. That man's wife, Stephen Burchett. They say that, uh, you know, she's haunting this place. Right, right before she died, she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that's 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 what's haunting this house. It's her uh, her last spiritual uh, uh, resemblance in reality. Well, if she is haunting this house, I believe that um. This guy right here would be your man to so-called capture the demon. If you want to capture, do you want to capture it or you just want to communicate with it? I don't want. I don't know what I want to do with it. I've never do done you this prefer before. it to be gone. Like, is it is it a hostile spirit? Is it calming? Does it appear to be attacking has, you? Has it shown any aggression towards anybody else? Let me show you what I'm else? dealing with. This is the place where I have been having the most bizarre feelings I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm not somebody who gets nervous easily. Okay. But uh, everybody here, shaking up, can't handle what's going on over here. And it's scaring off all my members. You know, people aren't coming to church as much as often over here as they used to to see Reverend Brow uh, minister. Okay. Uh, I definitely feel a lot of activity going on in here and uh, it doesn't feel very pleasant. It actually feels kind of aggravated, kind of kind of hateful that we're here right now. Well, if this is the main room that's having all the uh, weird occurrings constantly, this would probably be the place to start with the uh, our little gathering so we can uh, try to cast out whatever's here. Just tell me what you need, because uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm going to be uh, faithful to myself, 
and my followers who listen to the word. Okay. And I'm going to stay out of this and pray for the both of you. Well, uh, we actually did need you to leave because this is more of a better for the professionals. Um, but one thing we need is some belongings of the person who passed, or at least the person you're expecting that could be haunting the place, such as like personal. Like or, Cynthia's stuff? Yes. yes. And it's something that just belongs for that person. I think I got some of her stuff over here, actually. Okay. Just happen to have it right here. Uh, she left um, these were her last belongings they found after the hurricane hit right that's what we have here well, you don't have much but you do have a few things uh, these are her beautiful pearl necklaces and jewelry some other doodads and Oh, you know, some fine studs. Looks so these are his promising. belongings or his wife's? Well, these are all his wives, I believe. Now, I can't speak for these two items, but I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff was hers, including the bandana. Okay. Well, Kevin, how about uh, you go ahead and retrieve the Ouija board, and right. we can go ahead and start getting gathered, and I'll explain uh, what we're going to be doing. Uh, what he's going to actually be doing is we're going to take the items that we have here and uh, try to see if we can get any kind of evidence on the um, the uh, spirit, per se, that's uh, considerably haunting. So what I want to do, or what we're going to be doing is we're going to try to allow this beast to get into my partner here. Basically what we're going to need is we'll take these items right here as offerings. I'm going to use this, the Ouija board, to basically just, I, I don't know if you know how a Ouija board works, because most, most religions would say, you know, stay away from demoning summoning, demon summoning icons such as this, and I never use it. <laughs> basically, it's just to contact, basically, you, you know, you talk to it, yes, no, it can spell out what it wants to say here. Maybe like how many year, of them are here? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with it. It's very popular in the 70s. Yes. Yeah, sure Unfortunately, a lot of young souls, unaware of what they're doing, uh, end up getting possessed by this stuff. Well, it's almost midnight, so we should probably be getting started. The best time is midnight. So, um, sir, we're probably going to go ahead and ask you to leave. Everything here will be attended to. As soon as we are finished, we will definitely... Uh, let you know how everything went. So we're gonna get things. Do you have lights? Maybe candles? Uh, just uh, some kind of lights that we could have because we're gonna have to cut everything off. Because I think mainly spirits are more attracted to the darkness. Because with the light, I don't believe they can show up as easily. Uh, so even that's what we have with the reader. We may not, if we cannot see them, we can at least hear, them, or at least know they were here. I got, I got what you need. I got plenty of lights here. Okay, well, thank you, sir. Um, gather them up for us, please, and we will get started on everything we need to do. Uh, great. Uh, I have one question. Yes, sir. Uh, let's say that uh, he, uh, he gets a spirit inside of him, and uh, maybe uh, something bad happens, and uh, we got a bigger situation on our hands. Well, um, I get where you're coming from. Believe it or not, we've actually uh, we've had a couple of mishaps several times. That's where the scar come from. That's why I used the cane to help me uh, walk. We've had a few incidents where um, I was completely, I guess, attacked by something. We weren't sure if it was a spirit or a beast, but we was able to control it after a little while. Okay. Sometimes some uh, spirits are more hostile than we're prepared for. Them. Yes. So. We are prepared for anything. That's why I don't work out. If one of us just happened to not survive or never come back, then it's what we're dealing with. It's what we're uh, trained to pretty much do. That's what they call having faith, right, sir? I'm having to take a leap of one. I think we better get started. <laughs> that didn't sound too good. All right. I'm going to leave you guys to it. 
Uh, I'm going to take my animals, all my pets. We're going to go get a hotel somewhere and uh, I'm going to set them up in a cabin, you know, somewhere, some vet. Uh, I got to, I got to actually take care of a few things. Okay. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow. That should give us plenty of time, sir. Great. Um, Jesus be with you. Right. Uh, that's another thing. I was hoping, no, we could all uh, have a prayer before we continue or even began. What do you say? If you feel comfortable with it, uh, we normally don't, but I kind of deal with in the same profession as you, so. All right, well, let's all take hands. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This night shall be in your hands and your hands only. For heaven's gates are locked with your, your free spiritual guidance, which we all, we all humbly accept as our way of life. Amen. Mr. Wells, I got uh, one last thing I need to know. Uh, what's the uh, damage here? Uh, how much am I gonna have to pay you for everything? Just, uh, we'll give you an estimate of everything once everything is finished. So until then, I cannot give you anything right now. That's great. This is great. Wonderful. Hi, everything. He, this guy was telling us, I believe we're doing something pretty serious, unlike anything before. Yeah, I'm not exactly excited about this. But we have to help him. Yeah, so I, just get a, I just get a really bad feeling already. I don't normally really have bad feelings when we do something like this, even after all we've been through. Yeah, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. There's the reader. It's on. Ready, prepared to read. Preparing to read. Bible for protection. Give me the metronome. All right. Any demons possessing this building they give you full control of my body for questioning only. When we're done asking these questions, we'll be taking my body back. You do not have control of me, you are only borrowed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Are there any spirits out there? If you're there, are you evil? Are you evil? Why are you here? We beg you, leave this place. Quit haunting. What is your purpose? Death. 
Why are you trying to kill? Has someone hurt you? Baby. Just like you said. Are you back to look for your baby? Do you miss your child? Ah! Did you feel that? It's really cold. Cynthia! Cynthia, it's daddy! Cynthia! 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 Where are you? Where are you? Cynthia! 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 to leave. I command you. No! What the? 666? Six, six, six. Just some kind of joke? Cynthia! No! Stop! Goodbye! Ah! <laughs> 
Cynthia. Cynthia. I'd do anything to get you back. Cynthia. 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 Wells. Coming here to see how things are going. This is after the movie. We're all just sitting around wondering what the hell, what the hell happened. What did we do for the past five or seven hours? What the fuck happened for the last seven hours? Why does my nose and teeth feel funny? I quit! Why does Christian's ass look so tight right now? <laughs> it is tight. It doesn't just look tight. Where's my blood? I want to see how much I used. We used enough. <laughs> I still want to have blood for my next one. Hey, get the shot of me walking in the door real quick. Oh, uh, for the last part? Yeah, just for grins and shiggles. When I go welding and I don't use the wire, I point the... Right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Christian. And, uh, he's got Josh in the car. John right there, going down a road. Alright, so, um, what's gonna happen is tonight, I'm gonna get possessed by a demon. We've got our crucifixes here, we've got our bandanas. Josh is gonna be on the board with me. John possibly, and uh, later on Trey, maybe, who knows. Anything could happen tonight. <laughs> and um, it's a documentary about seance, that's basically pretty much going on, I guess. Yeah. We got some stuff, cameras and some boards and whatnot, just to try to make it. We're just gonna see what we can do. And, what happens. I'm not trying to summon nothing. Not nothing particular, yeah. anyway. <laughs> um, so basically, if you guys don't know us, we are Chinakun X6XA Productions. Very foxy as well. Very foxy as well. John. Sorry, John, not to leave you off. See, I'm kind of, John, I'm kind of John's biggest fan, so... <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty awesome that I get to work with him. There he has a better light while he's driving in a dark road at night. Say a word, John. Uh, you can't focus too much on us because he's uh, driving, but uh, this is, we're going to our destination. Go ahead turn it out so we can see better at night. There you go. So, especially a lot of people who want to see what we can get going on this documentary. Thank you.